So you have a battle coming up, Closure, mm -hmm. Atlanta, um, eight, or May 4th, right? May 4th. May 4th in Atlanta um, against Enes. Mm -hmm. Dope match. A lot of people were really surprised to see this match going down mm -hmm. because it's from a classic battle before. Yeah. It's a rematch. Mm -hmm. um, so do you want to talk about that a little bit? Um, yeah, man. I think a lot of the people <clears throat> who even know of the battle, the, the, the first battle with me and Enes, I think they think I was trying to be a part of the band, and it was more so like somebody had called me down there. Well, Puff actually called my managers at the time and asked them to bring me down for me to battle in the house. And like I was just telling you, mm -hmm. the band wasn't created yet. So that's why when you see the battle, you see like Mysterious and, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You see people who didn't even make the band. Yeah. But so it was kind of like he had something to prove at that time as much as I had something to prove even yeah. though I had like a street rep this was about to be like some national televised shit and then he like I felt like if he didn't do his thing he probably wouldn't have made the band in the first place so as I was telling you one of my OG's introduced me to him he used to be back and forth to Philly when he came home and he introduced me to Ness funny thing about when me and Ness battled and I said that fuck you verse to him like Ness knew where I lived at yeah. Like, how crazy, like, when you <laughs> when you think about, like, the shit I was saying to him in that fuck you verse. Yeah. <laughs> and he was standing there and he knew where I lived at. I yeah. didn't know where he lived at. But yeah. that's just where we was at as battle rappers. Like, we was like, man, fuck this shit. Because I told him before the battle, I don't want you to take none of this shit personal. Because uh -huh. you got to do this. Yeah. And I got to do this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you can say whatever you want. At this time, I'm not thinking it's going to be, you know, I'm thinking he about to go all out. Because I know I'm about to go all out. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like once we got into it, it was like it was the, the moment was big because he was. Th I was just thinking, man, I'm, I'm gonna just go crazy. Yeah. He was thinking, nah, I gotta. Uh, damn, man, what if what if Puff don't fucking, you know, what if he? Because I'm seeing he's sweating. He does. I'm like, oh, this shit is getting intense for him. For me, I was just up there high shit. Yeah. Just going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a that was a good battle, man. That was a good battle. Yo, I feel like, I feel like that helped him too. I feel like oh, that definitely. Helped him get in the band for sure. Couldn't none of the other people. And do no shit like that. I'm not saying. Yeah. I'm not saying could nobody else in the band fuck with me on no battle shit. Like, no, nah, I'm not even saying that. What I'm saying is, n there was no other battle rappers in there. the group he was that could have did what he did with any other battle yeah. rapper. They couldn't have. He was the he was the spitter of that shit. Like he was the. If there was anybody that's that that they was gonna take out of that group to battle somebody that was like a battle rapper at that time, because Goods was Goods at that time. Mm -hmm. They could have easily. Bought goods in there. They could have easily bought Rex in there. They yeah. could have easily bought Mook in there. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It was it was so many people that they could have bought in there to battle Ness at that time. But it it wasn't too many other people in the band that that could have, you know, did that. And yeah. to this day, if you look, like he's still he's still doing battles, and mm -hmm. ain't nobody else from Babs. Shout out to Babs. Yeah, I saw Babs uh, Babs Bunny when I was uh, doing the K Sean battle. She came up and set it up. So I don't want to say it ain't nobody else because she spit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But those two out of everybody, yeah, so, yeah, uh, they have the longevity. How like between letting you know that you're gonna battle Enes and actually battling, what was like the time frame? Was it like close, or did you have time to like think about it? Or was it, like um, come down tomorrow? Nah, with the battles, it's always like a, you know, they always throw a name out or see how it go. See with me, and this is what happened with Kayshawn. He was like, man, I just can't understand why you picked me. And I was like, nah, I didn't pick you. Somebody, he brought your name up, and I was like, I bet. It was, I didn't even give it a, a oh, you know who I want to battle? I want to battle Kayshawn. It yeah. was like, nah, it's, it was my first battle back, I kind of was on some, I battle anybody. That's that's my yeah. attitude. Like, I battle anybody. I ain't, I ain't really, if it makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes battles don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Of course. Sometimes it's like, if he's this kind of rapper, he doesn't need to be battling this kind of rapper. Yeah. Like, it's sometimes like, it's like the Floyd and Conor McGregor. I feel like a lot of battles be that. Mm. Yeah. It's like, man, he's just like too intergalactical, yeah. technical, tactical to be battling my gun the sides of, yeah. da, da, da. you know what I'm a saying? So, stylistically. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes it work for the moment of the event, like somebody could flip it. Prime example, Math and, and, and Hollow. Mm -hmm. Shout out to both of them. You know what I'm saying? Much respect to both of them. 
But if anybody would have told you that math was going to be uh, hollow or it was going to go the way that it went, yeah. you wouldn't have thought that. Yeah, you know what I'm expected. saying? Like You're You right. wouldn't have thought that because you think, nah, hollow is too... Yeah. He's too on sight with the words. He's yeah. too... His shit just comes... It come like he really sat and wrote this shit out. Like, he was in the moment yeah. before the moment happened, and he wrote this shit and said, all right, I'll come back tomorrow and spit this shit live. Yeah. Like, sometimes his shit comes across like that. Luck shit come across like that, too. You know what I'm saying? There's a few battle rappers that... Sometimes they shit just go over niggas head mm -hmm. and sometimes they have a fan base of people who get it yeah like that's why we were talking about with the K-Shine shit in my mind I figured my fan base are gonna they're gonna get this cause this is where I, this is how I rap now if you listen to any of our music I rap to go over your head on purpose mm -hmm. I want to I want you to be like that shit didn't make no sense I please just keep listening to it cause once it makes sense it's going to be the dopest shit in the world. Yeah, I promise you, I remember when Lil Wayne said, we was in the studio and he was doing uh, six, he said, he said that uh, real Nick, real real G's moving silence like lasagna. Yeah. I, it was about three days. I remember I didn't say nothing and one day he was like, that shit fire, right? And I was like, yo, I'm going to be real with you too. I don't get that shit. <laughs> yeah. And I did not get it. Yeah. I did not, I'm, I'm, I, I, but that's, I always use that as an example because that's when I was like, oh, like, it made me look at him like, like you way better than I even thought you was. Yeah. And that was some simple shit. I was the dickhead for not getting it. <laughs> but the fact, he even looked at me like, Millsy, how could you out of all people not get it? I'm like, real G. The G is silent. Let's I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that's some battle shit. Yeah. That, that, but in his mind, he's not a battle rapper. But sometimes rappers just say shit and they just be like, oh, that was like. That was dope. Yeah. I always wanted to be like that. I'm from yeah. Harlem, so the first person that made me want to rap was probably like Nas, Biggie, Wu Tang. I wanted to be like that era of New York. Yeah. But the first person that made me want to battle was you was never shit. Your mama should have swallowed you. Yeah. Like Big L. Yeah. That that shit made me want to be like, oh, I'm from 144th. He's from 139th. Lennox, like, now nah, if he could do it, I could do it. So mm -hmm. that I aim to go over your head. And I think sometimes in this generation, you got to already have a fan base for that. Like, maybe after a couple battles, I could get back into that bag. But right now, while I'm getting building building my fan base, bridging the gap. That's what I'm doing right now. This yeah. whole year is me bridging the gap between my old fan base and the new fans. That's like, nah, I fuck with Mills. Like, I ain't never seen none of his old battles, but he be talking some shit. I like his new shit. I got to bridge the gap. Between them, but I can't bridge the gap by being intergalactical, tactical, romantic, totally. tactical. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna have to just be straight, disrespectful. That's it. And that's what the fans that are fans of your old battles want to see. Not saying that that is the dopest approach in the world. It's not. But that's what I like. That's it. what they want. <laughs> that's what they want from me. I'd rather hear some shit wrapped really well, straightforward, than some shit that I'm like, okay, yeah. I don't really understand that. And then I like, go back and watch yeah, it a bunch, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I had to get that. That was why it's a learning experience. Like people not going to pay you to experiment with they with their time. Yeah, word. That's you know a good what I'm saying? Like, at. see, back in the days, you might be rapping on a block, or you might be rapping at an event. You get into a battle at a, a, a video shoot. Yeah. Or in a studio session or something. Yeah. That's different. But when you got, I really look at this shit like 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 a. a multi-million dollar brand that could be like a billion dollar brand I look at this shit like how Vince McMahon looked at the WWF when his pops was like you know what I'm saying yeah. like I always I did an interview the other day and <laughs> and dude was like Mills I think you're giving him too much game you're telling him too much yeah and that's because I was like damn why I don't be like no merch booths at battles and he was just like, Mills, come on, you you thinking too far ahead. <laughs> yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. nah, I'm being real with you. Like, yeah. like I've been on tour with Young Money for years when we was on tour, and it was just fun. It was like, yo, this fun. Mm -hmm. And then by the time the fun started ending, I started realizing, like, oh, shit, niggas was making money. And it's too late because the wave done kind of died down a little yeah, bit. Yeah. It's like, yo, do y'all know how much money as battle rappers we could make? All right, cool, we don't get... If, it's all in your negotiation shit. Now, the reason I talk about this a lot is because it's no beef in battle rap. 
It ain't like I hate K Shine. Mm-hmm. I don't hate Ness. Yeah. But when we on the stage, fuck your life. Yeah. Fuck everything about you. Fuck everybody who thinks anything about you is cool. Yeah. For this three minutes, for the next three minutes, and the three minutes after that, fuck everything about you. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping and praying that you feel in the same way about me. Because that's what they paying to see. Yeah. They paying for us to feel like this. Now, when we get off, they're not paying for us to go out in the street and fuck each other up and all that. <laughs> they paying yeah. to see who's going to be the next person that you're going to say that. Exactly. So now it's like, all right, with me knowing that, however you negotiate, if you negotiate the bar, you negotiate the motherfucking, the pay-per-view or the streams or whatever. Mm-hmm. If you don't get none of that, bring you a dozen or two of some, some hoodies or some crew necks or some t-shirts yeah. with the name of the event, with the date. Mm-hmm. With the with the place or the club it was at, yeah, the city make people feel like they was a part of some shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When you go to tour, if you you that shit going. When I went to the the the, the No Way Out 20th anniversary shit, they had all sorts of merch and coats and shit like that. I bought a, I bought a lot of that shit. Yeah, because it's not gonna be the 20th anniversary no more. Yeah, it'll never be that again. Yeah, it'll never be another close. This is the first card I'm on with my man Clips. Like I remember when Clips started coming to the Ave. And he had bars, mm-hmm. like, and then we started going to public access and rapping. I remember when he didn't even want to rap, like, battle like that. He just wanted to, nah, I just want to keep getting nice. Yeah. This is my man. This is somebody I knew for 20 years, me and Charlie Clips. Like, I'm from this block, he from this block, 42nd, 44th, like, yeah. walking distance. Yeah. This is the first time we on a card together. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? And I'm under him. Yeah. But this ain't, this is not like... This ain't no. This ain't about deals. This ain't about your rap career, nigga. Mm-hmm. As a battle rapper, right now, nah, you go under him. Yeah, you gonna go under him until you supposed to be above him on the card. Yeah, because this ain't got nothing to do with your record deals or the songs you put out or the. I respect that. I respect that. It's like nah, you gotta work, nigga. Niggas ain't just gonna say you that nigga. You gotta battle Tay Rock. You, mm-hmm. you got you might you got to battle K Sean again. You got to yeah. battle Geechee. You got yeah. it's a long list of niggas that you got to battle Mills before we just say you that nigga. And I'm cool with that. That's dope. I'm cool with that. It's nothing but time. It's battles every month. It's all sorts mm-hmm. of leagues. So I'm mad that this is the first battle since November. I got ARP will tell you. I promise you, you could call ARP right now, speakerphone. He will tell you Mills been pissed with me for the last two events. Cause you wanted to be on the card. Yeah. Cause I was supposed to be on the card, but sometimes I, I don't want to throw it out. But sometimes shit don't work. Sometimes you're supposed to do something. I done got down to paperwork with people. Yeah. And then it's like the night before. It's like nah. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a good. This is a really big card to come back to. I think you and Ines. That's huge, yeah. especially with the theme of the card, closure. Yeah. You know, like unfinished business, that type of thing. Um, Hitman, Bill Collector, Clips, Math, like this. Heavy matches, yeah, you know. Yeah, they and, have I, a lot and, I, and that's why I wanted to be a part of it too, because I didn't want people to feel like I didn't want people to feel like the K. Sean battle was a cash grab. It's like, nah, I'm just I'm cool with getting paid for doing this shit now. Yeah, but this is not a cash grab. It wasn't like, oh, let me just get the big I'm coming back check. Ha ha, you niggas owe me this. I'm out. <laughs> it's like, nah, this is what I this is what we do. Yeah. This is what I do. You yeah. know, what I'm saying I used to do this shit for free. So imagine how serious I'm about to take it. If you put if it's, it's money involved, mm-hmm. I gotta promote. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Cool. How many people I showed up with? Yeah. Tell them. I didn't see very many people. You didn't see nobody. Yeah. You didn't I see think nobody. There was like a it's small, like it's two me. people behind you, and they were, they're not even with me. No, you don't gotta fake it for the people. No, <laughs> there's nobody here with me. Oh, right now mm-hmm. they're talking about the battle. Yeah. You no, gonna, no, there's nobody. He's, he's dolo in the hood right now. No, it's, <laughs> it's not. It's not even. It's not even that. It's just like. This ain't that. Like, battle rap ain't that. This shit ain't, it ain't, it's extra personal and disrespectful when we on the stage. I want niggas to understand that. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but I remember when Floyd Mayweather made me look at boxing different. And all he did was do what Oscar De La Hoya did. But when he did it, I looked at it different. He mm-hmm. didn't have to put Mayweather promotions on boxers' backs and then by the fourth round, the shit rub off. Yeah. You like what the fuck did Bernard Hopkins have Golden Boy Productions on his back for? Who the fuck is Golden Boy? <laughs> yeah. I don't, but I'm I'm watching the fight. I yeah. don't understand that. So how the fuck is Oscar De La Hoya promoting? He's still fighting. How is he doing? Fuck it. He's. It was great when he was doing it. 
But when Floyd retired as Pretty Boy and came back as Money and it was Mayweather Promotions, it was an issue. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's the issue? You know what the issue was? He figured out a way as a boxer to get the money that a promoter was getting. And I'm not cutting you out, mm -hmm. but it's enough money for all of us. And that's what I want battle rappers to understand. That's cool. Like, brand yourself. We're, if, if you're nothing else, you're a battle rapper. That ain't no, that's not like, oh, you a battle rapper. It's yeah. like, nah, I'm a fucking battle rapper, nigga. I yeah. make more money to battle than most of y'all make for shows. I know this. By far. I know this. By far, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when you look at niggas who be doing four, five, six battles a year, mm -hmm. and wonder why they don't put mixtapes out. Yo, I promise you, now that I'm, like, now that, because I'm still in between the, like, I put music out, you know, the digital streaming platforms, I got a distribution deal with Empire, so I'm doing that, but I'm still doing the battle shit. So, I'm I'm seeing who play both fields. I'm seeing the battle rappers that's like, yo, new project on blah, 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 you know, go, yeah. go stream it right now. Yeah. And I'm seeing the people that just battle. Prime example, Clips is my man. Charlie Clips is my dude. What's the last Charlie Clips EP? <laughs> Music? Album. Yeah. Single. He, that you heard. He does but, do but, Wildin' Out, though. So but that's, that's what they all do. Him. And that's dope. The, uh, the Incredible Gang. Like him, yeah. Conceited, yeah. Hitman, Nick. They all battle rappers. Mm -hmm. Do you do it look like they give a fuck about putting music out? No. Because that's not their brand. Their yeah. brand ain't getting 100 million streams. Yeah. Their brand is getting 100 million views on a new battle. Or... Fuck the battle. Nigga, I come on TV every week. Yeah, I remember, like I remember when I was running around with Young Money and we was doing Every Girl in the World shit and niggas used to be looking at me like, yo, Mills, you running around like with, come on, y'all niggas is talking about bedrock and all that. My nigga, we're in Switzerland. <laughs> we're in London. Yeah. Like, we, we have a double-decker tour bus. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Yeah. Like, I wish somebody would be like... Man, that nigga conceited, man. He alright, but he be on wildin' out. All that shit is scripted. So you don't think he <laughs> So you don't Word. think Hitman Holler nice because he do the wildin' out shit? Yeah. Black black gang, red gang, black crew, red yeah, black, yeah. black squad, red squad. You yeah. think you think niggas get whack because they find out a way to add more branches to their tree? Yeah. Nah, man. Yeah. A nigga, you you think I'm whack because I ain't bad one a bunch of years? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Like you you've know? just been doing nothing this nah, whole time. <laughs> man. I might not know how the interior of everything works, but once you figure that out, the the, the, the raps don't the raps don't change, man. Word. You know what I'm saying?